Hey, what's up? What's going on? Daria Jackson Leganier here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can activate the follow button on your profile page. So as you can see, we're on my profile page. I took the follow button off so you can see how to put it back and I'm going to show you how to put it on. Okay. So the first place you want to go is you want to go to this arrow right here, right at the very top. You see my cursor and you click on it and go down to settings. And then in settings, you're going to go to timeline. Nope. No, you're not. You're going to go to public posts. And as you can see, it says who can follow me. And right now it's set on friends. So you want to move this down to public, right? So now, I'm going to go to my timeline as if I was a visitor and voila, the follow button is there. It's that simple. Now you're probably asking why is, why should I have my follow button? Well, Facebook only allows you to have 5,000 friends. And then after that, you want to um, have as many people follow you as as much as possible. So followers are unlimited as of right now, but friends, you can only have 5,000. And then another clue, what I do like is, you know, like when you go, um, and you're prospecting people and you're looking at different people's profiles, in most cases, you will be able to identify a business person because they have that follow button. All right. Most of them do. So you'll be able to follow them as opposed to friend request them. And Facebook will not penalize you for following someone that you don't know. So you want to make sure that follow button is on is very important. It will help you connect with more people. All right. So that's all I have for you now. Um, if you got value from this video, whether you're watching it on YouTube, you're watching it on Facebook, leave a comment below. Uh, share it and uh, like it. Daria Jackson Leganier here, and I will see you in the next video. Make it a great day.